everyone it's me glam again so today i'm gonna try to explain how i shade and hopefully it's gonna be helpful to some of you uh, but first things first this character is owned by chiro 61 on deviantart looks in the description and this is a commission piece i did for them so i'm just gonna let the video play and when we get to the shading i'll do my best to explain So already with the coloring, you can see I added blush, but I'm trying to use the blush as a definition for the face. You can see the collarbone pops out a little bit just because I put some blush there. So I try to use these minimal things to make the drawing look less flat than it really is. Then there's the hair. The character has a gradient, but I didn't want to just put a single gradient with no de definition because that's not how hair really works. So since my style of how I draw hair is very in sections, I try to select every section and do it individually to make it seem like there really is something going on there and not just some color slapped on. Now I just want to explain the background a little bit. I did use uh, already taken photography online. I checked it's free to use for remix purposes and edits. So I ran it through a filter and then did my best to look a little closer to the photo after the filter kind of flattened it too much. Now here's the actual shading. You can see that I'm not going in with cell shading first. I'm using a color that matches the background so it looks like the character is actually there. And I take an airbrush and I put it on places that I think are the darkest on the character. That would be under the bangs, a little inside on the roots, under the chin, and at the bow. I also use it to define some things that I don't want to stand out too much, like the collarbone again. You can see I just put it in with the airbrush and lowered it and it looks softer than the rest of it. Then comes the cell shading. I don't blend it out. Instead, I delete the edges a little bit with the airbrush, but not to the point where they disappear, to the point where it looks like they are fading into that area. I take the airbrush and I set it so that it deletes instead of colors. I make the brush really big and then I go in and delete those edges. 
I also have the hair, the skin, the glasses and the bow all in separate layers so that it's easier to select and do these things. If I didn't, I would have to select the color, but that leaves a choppiness and some pixels and I want it to look as smooth as possible. A thing you can also do is put in a gradient, blend it out and then define it with eraser tool. This will create the same fading effect just using a different technique. Here I realized that the glasses are way too thick compared to anything else on the face. They were too detailed and the line art would get in the way later so I just reduced them to one line. I looked at some references on Google Images to give me a more realistic idea of how it looks like and I realized this is the best approach to do. So if you think something looks off, remember references will always make everything look better. It's not cheating, it's just learning. Now the highlights. I locate the light source and I take the lightest color in the background and put it to luminosity. I could put it all over the character so that her entire shape is very defined, but I did try it a little bit off camera and it did not look good, so sometimes it's enough to just have them on one spot, not too much, not too little, and it will look like there's still a light source coming. Later I added some luminosity and overlay effects and that did make the whole image look more pleasant, but that comes later, the effects and overlays, all that at the end. At least that's just how I do it. Oh, and you can notice I tried a bunch of things with the hair. Sometimes I forget how my style works and then I have to do some things over and over again until I just get it right. One thing you might notice is that the shine in the glasses is really, really strong. Later I realized this, so I toned it down. Now you might notice the very hard black lines on the edge of the character. This is because at the end of every picture I basically make the line art disappear and make it look like it's a line art drawing. Then I reduce the opacity of that layer and it gives the overall image a soft look. But where the highlights are I make the line art be that exact color because that is where the light is strongest. Sometimes it needs a few more layers to get the right amount of softness, but it's all just preferences. I try to not have any black lines in the drawing unless there is a very very dark piece of clothing. This again is just preferences, but to me it looks much nicer. Though sometimes I do admit I might accidentally go overboard, so don't think that having black lines is bad or anything. It's perfectly normal. And that's it I guess. I know this was quite short, probably not even helpful, but I just wanted to explain the overall idea behind my shading. One thing I would change about this drawing though is I would tone down the amount of darkness around the head area because compared to the collarbone area it is far too dark in comparison. Or I would do the opposite and make the chest area darker so that it matches more. This way it just looks like the head is in a completely different space than the chest. 
I did my best to make it look good anyways, so I suppose it's fine. But do try to make everything look unanimous. I would also like to mention a few details about line arting. Don't put harsh and strong lines where you can do the same effect with shading. For example, again, the collarbones. I simply put two very thin lines to give me the idea of where they are, and then I let the shading do the rest. Because in real life, we don't have two harsh black lines on our chest, but this is all up for stylistic choice. Some people can make it look really good, so there's not really a right or wrong. Keep experimenting, and with that, there's not gonna be any rules for you to follow, because you create them. That's what style is all about. And yep, that's about it for today. Hope you understood anything I was talking about, and until next time, bye!